Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to remove user from Telegram group automatically. So here, let's say that you have created a Google Sheet where you have added the details of the users whom you wish to remove from your Telegram channel. So here, your objective is that whenever a new row will be added in your Google Sheets, consisting the data of the user whom you wish to remove from your Telegram channel, then automatically that user should be removed from your Telegram group. So now to do this, you have to build a simple automation between these two applications for which you can use this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect, where your trigger application will be Google Sheets and your action application will be Telegram. So to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will learn how to remove user from Telegram group automatically. So here, let's say that you have created a Google Sheet where you have added the name and the user ID of the users whom you wish to remove from your Telegram group. Now here your objective is that whenever you will add the name and the user ID of the user whom you wish to remove from your Telegram group should be automatically removed from your Telegram group. So now the same can be done by using this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So here as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and you will get 100 tasks for free every month. So as an existing user, I'm signing in. So this here is the all application space by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. I have reached on my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. And now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I'm naming it as remove user from telegram group automatically. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I have created. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as telegram. So here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window, which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action. So moving to my use case, that is to remove user from Telegram group automatically. So here I have created a Google Sheet where I have added the name of the users whom I wish to remove from my Telegram group. So here in this Google Sheet, you can see that there are two columns. One is of name, another one is of the user ID and the sheet name is remove members. So now here my objective is that whenever I will add the name of a new user and the user ID whom I want to remove from my Telegram group, the details of that new row should be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So now to do this, firstly, I have to set up the trigger. So the trigger will be Google Sheets over here and I'm searching for it. And here it is. As I've selected my trigger application as Google Sheets, then I'm going to select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. So it will start working whenever a new spreadsheet row will be added or updated. So here you can see that now a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webhook URL will help you to connect your Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So now to establish a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect, I will take you to my Google Sheet. So over here, I will go to extensions. Make sure you should have this Pabli Connect webhooks extension. If you don't have it, then you can simply go to get add-ons. And here in the search bar, you can search for Pabli Connect webhooks. Here it is. So as I've already installed this extension, so it says installed. You can also follow the same process to install this extension. So here I'm going to close it. Now, as I want that whenever I will add the data in a new row, so that data should be sent to Pabli Connect. So to do that, I will go to extensions and then I will go to Pabli Connect webhooks and then I will click on initial setup. So here in this initial setup, you can see that in my spreadsheet, there is only one sheet. So that sheet is already selected over here. Now over here, I need to mention the webhook URL. So from Pabli Connect, I'm going to copy the webhook URL. And then I'm going to paste the same over here. Once this is done, now I need to mention the trigger column. So the trigger column is the final data column on which the data is added. So the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. So here in this Google Sheet, my trigger column is B. So I'm writing it as B and over here, I'm clicking on Submit. So you can see that the setup is configured successfully. I will simply close this 
Again, I will go to extensions, go to Pabli Connect web books and now I'm going to click on the send on event. So as I want that whenever a new row will be added in this Google sheet, so the data should be sent to Pabli Connect. So to do that, I need to click on the send on event. So as I did that, now I need to refresh the page once as it is important. So here now I will add the user whom I want to remove from my telegram group. So this here is the telegram group which I have created and over here you can see that there are two members. One is by the name of dummy user, another one is by the name of current user. So I want to remove this dummy user from my group. So over here in this Google sheet, I'm going to mention the name of dummy user. And now I need to mention the user ID of dummy user. So here I will go back to telegram. I will click on dummy user and this here is the user ID. So I've copied the user ID. So I will go back to Google Sheets and I'm going to paste the same over here. So as this is done, I will take you to Pabli Connect and show you that the response would have been captured over here. And here you can see the user ID. Here you can see the trigger column which I have selected as B. Here's the spreadsheet name as remove members. This is the spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index. And here is the name that is dummy user. So that means the details of that new row is successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So the first step of this automation is set up that now whenever a new row will be added into Google Sheets, the data of that new row will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. This trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So moving further, as I want to remove user from Telegram group automatically, so here I've added the name and user ID of the user whom I want to remove from my Telegram group. So here in this action window, I'm going to search for Telegram bot and here it is. So once I've selected my action application, I will select the action event that will be kick a chat member, kick out a member from your group chat. So here to remove a user from Telegram group, I need to select this as an action event. And now I need to establish a connection between Telegram bot and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. So now here I need to establish a connection between Telegram bot and Pabli Connect. So here if you have an existing connection, you can go with the same or you can simply add a new connection. So to add a new connection, you need to mention the token. So read this help is given below carefully because this will help you to get the token. Firstly, you have to go to Telegram and then you have to search for bot father. Once you have searched for bot father, then you need to send a message which goes as slash new bot to create a new bot. Then you need to provide a username for your bot. And in the end, you will receive a message from bot father that will contain the token. So now here I will take you to my telegram account. And over here, I'm going to search for bot father. And over here, I'm going to search for bot father. So now I will click on start. So here, so here as instructed in Pabli Connect, I need to send the slash new bot message to create a new bot. So now over here, I need to give a name to my bot. So here I'm going to name my bot as remove user. And now I'm going to send it. So now here I need to choose a username for my bot. Make sure you also follow the same format that is given over here. So now over here, I'm going to name my bot as user members remover underscore bot. So here you can see that a new bot has been created and I can access the bot through this link. And this here is the token which I need. So I will simply copy it, go back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to paste the same. Now I will click on save. And here you can see Telegram bot and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. Now moving to these fields. Firstly, I need to mention the chat ID. I need to enter the chat ID for the target chat. So here in Telegram, this is the group. And over here, you can see that I want to remove this dummy user from the group. But firstly, what I will do is I will access this bot and bring this bot into my conversations. So now I will click on start. Once this is done, now over here, I'm going to add this bot in this group. So here I'm going to add the bot. So now what I want, I want to make this bot the admin of this group. So the same access can be given through your phone. So I'm going to make this bot as admin. And here you can see that the bot has been made as the admin. So as here, I need to mention the chat ID. So here in this group, this here is the chat ID. So I'm going to copy this. And now here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to paste the same. Moving to user ID. 
So here as I want to remove this dummy user as here in Google Sheets, I've mentioned the user ID of this user. So here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to map the user ID. So basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step. So here this is the user ID and I'm going to map it. Now this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data, so that data should be taken into consideration in this field. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So now here, I'm simply going to click on save and send test request to see the response. And here you can see that I have received the response and it is a positive response. Now I will take you to my telegram group. So here in telegram group, you can see that the dummy user has been removed from this group. And here in members also, you can see that dummy user is not a member anymore. So this integration and automation was a successful one. Now, whenever a new row will be added in Google Sheets consisting of the user ID and the username of the user whom you wish to remove from your Telegram channel will be removed automatically from your Telegram group. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.